35.9. Brilliant. Temperature checks for me and cameraman Mark before we go into the school. Yep, 36.1. Brilliant. And hand sanitising, of course, which is the new normal for us all. This is a school in lockdown mode. What we've tried to do is have the rest of the school deep cleaned in readiness for other children's return. So some of the school isn't in use at the moment and the children know where they're allowed to go. Pre-lockdown, there would have been 150 children here having lessons, but today there are just five in. Children of key workers and others who are able to be at school. Each of the children has an individual workstation. They go to the same station every day. They know that only they have touched the equipment on there and their books are dedicated to that child. So what's it like being some of the few that have to come to school in lockdown? I had to get used to the fact that now we were going to be studying by new rules. So I, so it's taken me a little while to get used to that. What do you like about it? Um, meeting my friends and making it feel like I'm back here and like a regular day of school. But unsurprisingly, due to the wider social distancing rules, everyone here, like Billy, are missing their friends. Pretty hard because I can't go everywhere and I can't go high five everyone I want. Finding it kind of boring because I can't really go outside and meet my friends. Come a couple of weeks time you might get some more people back to school. Yeah. How do you feel about that? I feel happy because I, some of my friends might come in and then I get a chance to see them. The school has strong links to the health and care sector, having partnered with the NHS last year on this careers day. Well, today, thanks to some simple science, they know all about coronavirus and the important role that those key worker parents are playing. It is such a privilege to be able to support the NHS and giving those really, really important workers the chance that they can just go off to work and not have to worry about their children. And if proof be needed, well, it is a Thursday after all. Thank you, NHS. Thank you, key workers. Thank you for looking after everyone. Thank you for helping us. It's especially for my mum because she is a key worker. Um, stay strong, stay safe, and, and, and we're thanking you. Steve Nibbs, BBC Points West, Gloucester.